Welcome back to Anderson's TV. Hello. We are going to unbox some Fender Custom Shop guitars for you. We are. Should we see what we've got? Let's do it. What's in the box? Number one. Have you got your knife? I've got, no, oh, not today. You've got some scissors today. I've got scissors You're today. You're going to cut your own hair later. Yes, <laughs> and yours, and everybody in the shop. It's Number one, so what have we got? exciting. Throw. Brown case. Got it. Does that one, mean two, anything? Three. <clears throat> well, doesn't it mean 60s? I don't remember. Yeah, um, something like that. I don't know, but let's see. Which way do we open this? Do we, do we give the viewers yes, the first look? We do. I'm going to sneakily look up here. And so see is this what a master built one or is this regular? No, this is, shop? Uh, this is not a master built one. Okay. This is a, but this is, uh, it's got a name from somebody that we know. We have uh, got some master built. So. Yeah. This is a Mike Landau. Oh. Actually, this is, a Mike, this is a master built by Andy Hicks. So it is a master it built. It is a master built. What so it's a master built Mike Landau. Wow. So which, who's the builder? Uh, Andy Hicks. Andy Hicks. Look at this case, man. That's that's I haven't seen like that before. So this, this is, is a like this will be a replica of um, the '63 Strat that Mike Landau plays. Is it Mike or Michael? Michael. And is he sensitive Michael about Landau. that? I think he, it's Michael, isn't it? So, um, wow, that's lovely. Doesn't weigh too much. A bit of case candy. Uh, no, no, '63. So it's the '60s. You got the uh, well. I'm kind of all the same specs as always. No, 50s. Fat 50s uh, pickups. Yeah. Uh, round band. lamb. Maple green. Mm. Anyway, well, that's that one. So this will be hanging up. Are we hanging them up? Yeah, we're hanging we, them up. We're hanging that's them the up. whole point. We're hanging them up. Well, that's the whole point. Oh, all the cake candy. Oh, serial number. This is what you need to know, isn't it? Serial number is R123456. Four, five, six, no. Uh, one, two, three, five, three, two. Very nice it is, two. Tell right. you what. Master built Michael Landau Strat. There yeah. we go. Well, you, why not? What's in the box? Okay, next box. What is in the next box? What's in the box? Okay. Um, it's another costume shop. Is it really? Yeah. You're joking. <laughs> not by Fender, surely. I, yeah. No, this is brand nobody cares about. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what oh, colour? Oh, it's double. It's double package. It, it Maybe it's a double ended. Scale no one. That's something else. Um, so black case. Oh. Ooh. NOS. Oh wow, that we don't normally pretty. get a lot of NOS straps because, of course, everybody loves relic. Um, everybody look, loves relic. Birds I made with fretboards and, and abalone. Oh, that, that's gorgeous. So what it? actually is this then? Well, let's have a look. Well, let's have a look. I'll show you the back. Oh. Lovely three-tone sunburst. Ooh, it's got like a elite modern heel carving. Yeah, that's because this is an American custom strat uh, in NOS. Nothing wrong with that. Look at that beautiful neck and all mm. the inlays. Lock and tuners. Is it a two-point trim? Or? No, normal vintage trim. So what have we got here? We've got uh, dual mag pickups. We've got uh, modern wiring. 60s strat. Oh, serial number, mustn't forget. Serial number. 14721. Bird's eye AAA maple neck. 22 frets, so that's a, that's a difference. Oh, I would have 23 gone for 23 frets. myself. Yeah. Uh, uh, medium jumbo frets, 6150. And, uh, nice. Yeah, signed by Ron Thorne. Built on the 24th of March, 2023. Well, Just after my birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Thank you. Next! Next, what is in the next box? What's in the box? Um, not this one, not this one, because we've got two at the end there. We're going to keep them together. Oh, what have you got? See you how got... similar they are. Oh, we've got two, two so... similar. Right, so what is this? This is a it's another master built. I think we should keep There's a master built here. Master built here. Let's save all the master built till exactly. the end. What's that one? Uh, these are master built by Kylo Ren. This Kyle one's a... Jeremy Kyle. <laughs> Jeremy Kyle or Ren. Wow. <laughs> Jeremy Kyle or Ren. Kyle or Ren. What is that? Jeremy. Some sort of um, agony aunt trash TV Star Wars character. I am yeah. not your father. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This is a nice case. Hang on. Three, two, one. Oh, oh I love the over sunburst finishes. I love these, these cases, man. Look at these cases, they're, they're, they're not for hairy, they're, 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 oh, yeah, it they're called? like a felt, aren't yeah. they, rather than a... So we got, we got a couple of them here. We have, we? yeah, look, we had them with um, torque guards. This is just a, um, like a parchment or a mint guard, isn't it? So, oh, what do we know about this, Mr. Well, Pete? let's have a look. What do we know about this? Oh, this is a master build too. So it's the master built by Kyle again. 
Um, What's his surname? Carl McMillan. McMillan. Carl McMillan. Serial number is R. Is that the serial number there? It R should be R129323. That's it. We've got Pablo Strat, uh, hand wired Pablo pickups. In Poblano. It? Poblano pickups. Uh, we've got Maple Quarter Saw Neck, Round Lamb Board. I like this one. 63 Strat, early 60s. Speaking of being quite light, if you go on over to the Anderson's website, perhaps there'll be some links in this video, uh, you'll see each of these guitars individually photographed from different angles, weighed, the whole bit, so you can find out a bit more. That's pretty, isn't it? So I'm, I'm gonna I, hang it up. I know you're gonna keep them all to the end, so I apologize for that one. That's all right. So we'll leave the two master builds to the end yes. and we'll do this one next. Absolutely. So this is not a master build. This is not a master build. No. Off you go. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Do you know, um, Grace Jones used to order these specifically from Fender. She'd have literally one on each shoulder like this. I know, I've heard. All of her 80s outfits. Oh, so what is that like, Journeyman? This is going to go. Is it Journeyman or, or, or Closet Classic? I think it's, I think it would, I would say it's more Journeyman. This is going to go so that. quick. That is a nice burst. Got yeah. quite a heavy dark edge, slightly more yellowy in the middle. So that's the 6263 Strat. I wonder who, you know, what kind of crazy artist plays those, I wonder. Yeah. Uh, do you want the serial number? CZ56-6923. twenty-five even. I'm so blind. Must stop So we've got modern wiring in there. Uh, we've got 6063s. Pickups, we've got um, me, uh, medium vintage frets, uh, round and board, rift sawn neck. Uh, compound. Compound radius fretboard yeah. from seven and a quarter to nine and a half. Mm -hmm. What kind of crazy demon came up with that idea? Hey, uh, I don't know, but maybe. It's interesting. Uh, do you know what? Of That's all a the good compound idea, though, radius fretboards that I've ever tried, yeah. I'm actually not sure I've ever gone from crazy vintage through to sort of normal. It's almost always gone from like normal to extra flat, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, from nine and a half to. Mm. They're good, are. those. They're good. You should come and try Ooh, Give that a blast. Exactly. I wonder what this is, Lee. Is Could this, this be? An, is this another custom shop? This Could is this a master. Be, this is a two of the two, two guitars of the same spec, both built by Kyle. Let's see what they are. This is a good case. I like this case. Ready? Yeah. Un, dos, tres. Oh, oh my! Bang. Black this over sunburst. Cool. So these, mu these, these must these be a new, a new be thing. Do you that. reckon? No, no, they all had. Oh, did the no. did that non master built have a different, like a normal? So yeah. even master built get better cases. They do. Cheeky. You show that up. Yeah. Oh, look at the fretboard on that. I mean, that honestly, man, that could almost be so ebony. Dark. I don't know uh, that yeah. I've seen a piece of rosewood on a fretboard. That's gorgeous, that thing. White. A sort of. I don't know. What, what do you even say? It almost is like completely devoid of any kind of graining. It's just dark, smooth, like chocolate. Actually, actually, um, it is African blackwood. Oh, well, there you are. So there you go. <laughs> that would be why. That would be why. It's a maple uh, quarter saw neck. You've got the uh, pop, pop, pop poblano. Poblano, poblano, poblano. Uh, you say poblano. Uh, we've got some stew mac. Uh, 0155. What, frets? Yeah. It's these crazy master builders. I guess they just have license to do whatever they want to do. Oh, man. Round down feel board. The, feel the neck, feel the neck. Tell me that doesn't feel like a, a beautiful <laughs> guitar. Just. Oh, that is beautiful, isn't that it? That is ridiculous. That's what you get, isn't it, with these master builds? Wow. That Serial number R118040. Thank you, Kyle. Oh, man, feel that. That's up. actually an interesting. That's got those slightly bigger kind of hips on the side of it there that just makes it this feel is like mm. 60. What does it say about the neck calf? Neck style, 60 strand. Interesting. Yeah. I... And it, it's not rounded in the board, is it? It's got that sort of completely. <sighs> what are they nice. inlays? They are. Little clay inlays, yeah, are clay. they? Clay Aiken. Oh, Look at that. He's uh, trim flat to the body. It's obviously Kyle's setup of choice. Yeah, it should be. I love the over sunburst. Yeah. Look well, at that. So the Landau is an over sunburst. Yeah, so we got, so we, let's put this here. Then you got another thing over sunburst. But that's beautiful, this one. That's a great fretboard. 
I'm really interested in, in whether that sort of African blackwood is just a kind of rosewood or if it's a... Black, blackwood is, 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 is ebony, isn't it? I don't know. African blackwood is indeed part of the rosewood family. Yeah. So there that's we good. go. So it's a really dark Why rosewood. Why not just call it really dark rosewood? Yeah, let's call it rosewood that's dark. It's true. Um, it's, it's because it's not Indian rosewood, it's African rosewood, isn't it? Last one. Another one from Kyle. One, two, three. Oh! Oh, so oh, no, okay, now there's a problem, isn't there? Why? Because you don't know which one you want. Well, so depending on whether or not you like a bit of figuring uh, on the fretboard or not, this one obviously has got uh, that little bit of science that actually is from Mother Nature. Where I mean, the other one almost looks um, synthetic, it's so dark. But So there's the two together. Got similar levels of um, relicking on each one. So let's flip them over. Uh, the one we've just pulled out is serial number R129015. Um, let's just see. Oh, the neck is great, man. Very, very similar wow. sound feeling necks on each one. Oh! oh my God, that sounds great. Which one's the lighter one? Let's have a look. I can't tell. Now. This one. Yeah, I, I think, think the second one we pulled out was the lighter one. Wow! So what is ringy the same and resonant. Fret, on this? Stew Mac frets? I don't, I don't know. Well, that. Kyle, if you're know. watching, why do you why what do you like about the Stew Mac frets as opposed to the normal Dunlop ones? But oh, well, anyway. right. Let's hang so them up. somebody goes, oh, I want that, and uh, there's two of them. Master oh. built. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen, a master built Michael Landau, a two uh, master built Kyle McMillan's, uh, and another three, three Kyle McMillan master built guitars. Yeah. Beautiful. And then we've got an NOS uh, American Custom in that beautiful sunburst. Oh no, it's right in the end, isn't it? Yeah, this is the NOS, just straight and, in. Uh, and I can't remember what this one was. This, this is a non-master belt, so like a normal custom shop. That is great as well, isn't that? That's going to go quickly, I think, because that's what, that's what the kids want these days. So awesome. there you go, guys. Uh, you've just got to get yourself down to Anderson's Guitar Gallery. Yeah, Come and have a noodle, ball, ball. see if any of these... Um, take your fancy or of course you can uh, email in or contact us by telephone or whatever speak to one of the pools that we have in our guitar gallery and they can talk you through everything maybe even do a little video call direct with you answer any questions you might have about the guitars but there you I heard they do a little dance as well for they you. do a little dance uh -huh. yes like a little Cornish shanty um, anyway <laughs> right see you next time bye bye there once was a guy who was named Paul <laughs>